I'm always looking for a bargain, whether I'm in a restaurant or whatever. I mean, yeah. I spend, you know, mm. perhaps $60 in a restaurant on a yes. bottle of wine and I'm looking for something really interesting. Yes. And, uh, and in the bottle shop, you know, I'm probably spending 25 to $30 and yet mm. looking for a really nice bottle of wine for that, for that money. We need to be more adventurous with wine and mm. perhaps some, you know, if you don't know a lot about wine, the, the only way to be really adventurous is to get some really nice advice. Yes. And I'd say that, you know, sort of any good retailer is going to, you know, perhaps align their palette with yours or you'll align it with mm, them depending yeah. on sort of, you know, what type of retailer they are. Um, but a good wine merchant, you know, if you said to him, look, these are the types of wines that I like, yep. um, can you maybe recommend uh, sort of something. I don't want it to be too common. Yes. It'd be really nice if it were, you know, perhaps individual and, and you know, maybe a little bit sort of artisan and yes. maybe a little bit sort yes. of, um, uh, you know, rare or, or maybe not so common. Yeah. And uh, I think that's lovely mm. as well. And um, so really just trusting a good retailer mm. and maybe, you know, if he's giving you good wine, mm. stick with him, yes. you know. This is, my husband will be so envious, it's his favourite Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's, look at the gorgeous colour. If yes. I hold that up to the light, just look how beautiful it that is. is. In a lot of occasions, you know, if I served Leanne, you know, big, full, rich, Shiraz you know, or something. Shiraz, she'd say, back to the cellar. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Grab me some Pinot Noir. I'm going to have to start saying that to my husband. Yeah. <laughs> but it's really, uh, it's really interesting, you know, we, we, we buy and collect a lot of wine. Yes. Um, we've never got any Pinot Noir in our cellar. Yes. It's the first thing that goes. It's amazing. Yes. And with Pinot Noir, I mean, I really love Pinot, you know, from two to probably eight years yeah, right. is about what I think is a really nice sort of time okay and uh, and look you'll you'll notice this isn't really you know deeply colored yeah. it's more sort of crimson yeah. and those sorts of colors mm. um, you know people need to be aware that mm. sort of beautiful wine doesn't need to be black yes or dark purple yeah beautiful wine can be more in the red spectrum and yes. lighter in color and things like that if we were only drinking big rich red wine we'd miss out on some of the really beautiful yes. wines in the world like Chianti and yes. Burgundy and Pinot Noir and, and Sangiovese all and it. all of those sorts mm, of yeah. things so yeah you know if you're spending somewhere between 15 and 25 dollars on a nice bottle of rosé mm. you're you're going to expect something that is grown for purpose and yep. made for purpose mm. so it's Pinot Noir or it's Grenache or it's uh, maybe Syrah or Mouvedre uh, it, you know, it's one of those varieties okay. um, grown specifically to, to make rosé rose, right. and, and normally to get the texture and to get the flavour yep. um, it really needs to be pressed. It would be taking a parcel of fruit, yes. you know, de-stemming it, putting it in the press, pressing it out, yep. looking for all the flavour in the wine, yep. perhaps putting it to a mixture of cask and stainless steel. Yep. And, uh, but making it for purpose. Yes. And and the best rosés in the world mm. are yes. not byproducts. Mm. They're not blending mm. white and red together. Yes. They're actually grown and made for a reason. Specifically to create rosé. Yes. Yes. The best rosés that are made in the world yeah. are made, you know, exactly that way. Yeah. And look, you know, rosé. We talked mm. about glassware earlier. Yes. You know, perhaps in front of the mother-in-law. Yes. Maybe a nice glass like this. Yes. But amongst yourself, a tumbler is yes. just fine. <laughs> Do you know I've got those little espresso tumblers at home? I mean, we have our red in it all the time. Yeah, no and problem it, at all. Yeah, it's just easy and... And I think when you, you know, particularly out on this deck, yes. you know, when we have <laughs> a lot of people... drop them, look how beautiful they yeah. are, these glasses. <laughs> but when we have a lot of people, and Leanne might sort of, um, you know, put together a traditional Italian meal yes. or something like that, um, you should see the surprise on their face when we pour the rosé <laughs> into tumblers yes. out here. Yes. It's so traditional yes. and it's so Italian mm. and it's so yeah. sort of Mediterranean that, yes. uh, you yeah, know, it isn't funny.